Hi, I'm Greg Lambert, editor of the Legal Value Network newsletter and chief knowledge services officer at Jackson Walker. For the LVN newsletter, we are very excited to bring a report from one of our own members about leading versus lagging indicators for law firm strategy. The full report is going to be available in the newsletter, but we wanted to bring in the author, Andrew Slade, Senior Manager of Growth and Analytics, to do a quick video introduction to his report. And of course, you're at uh, Perkins Coie. I forgot to, to mention that. So Andrew, thanks for taking the time to talk with me. Thanks for having me. I'm, I'm looking forward to the conversation. So Andrew, in your view, what are some of the most important leading indicators that firms should have been focusing on over the past couple of years to anticipate you know, the changes in the market that led to the results in this year's AMLA 100 survey? It's a great question uh, and really a great way to lead off our conversation because it depends on the firm. Uh, so the leading indicators that, that you should be focused on are going to be different depending on whether or not you're an IP boutique, uh, a white collar firm, a uh, white shoe corporate, a, a global internationalist. Uh, this really is one of those areas where you can't copy your neighbor's homework. You've got to know your business model and, and what the indicators are that are going to be important for it. Uh, that said, uh, I will say one commonality that I think applies to all law firms uh, is you should be very interested when you see mismatched leading indicators. Uh, so for example, if we're thinking about the most recent AMLA results, uh, we started to see some of the high-end corporate indicators like deal counts, deal values, utilization of attorneys in certain practice areas uh, go from blazing hot to, to starting to point down. Uh, that said, though, uh, a lot of those firms continue to hire, uh, which creates an interesting dichotomy where we have some pointing up, uh, some pointing down. Uh, and there were a few firms that I, I think continued to hire maybe a little bit longer than their leading indicators suggest. But uh, but that's just one year of data. Uh, we'll see. They, they might be looking around a corner and, and well positioned as, as the market recovers. But uh, mismatched indicators, I, I think, are something that we all should be looking for. Yeah. Yeah. And just just to clarify, when you say mismatch indicators, you mean where the trend on one side is going down, but then the other the, the actions seem to be going in the opposite direction. Is that, is that right? That's right. That's right. And so um, in some cases, uh, that could be because we don't we misunderstand the leading indicators. Uh, so so definitely not a, a red flag you immediately need to stop, but but certainly a yellow flag. Pause and, and think about whether or not that's due to a miscommunication between your internal business units or if, if there's just some extra level of insight the rest of the market hasn't picked up on yet. Okay. Well, your report focuses on looking forward. And, and I kind of chuckled when I read that because that may be difficult for an industry that is completely based on precedent. We're always looking... <laughs> back in our in our jobs. So how can law firms improve at identifying and analyzing leading indicators to make, you know, these better strategic decisions? You know, are what resources or tools or approaches would you recommend that they invest in? Oh, I love that. Uh, I suspect that's a pain point that cuts across uh, a lot of different job functions in the LVN network. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'll say in my own work, one of the things that, that I try to be relentlessly focused on is being a connector. Uh, so I think a lot about strategic growth in my current job function and the insights and, and the projects where I've gotten the most tractions are when we can connect different areas of our business. So thinking about growth questions from a practice area lens, from a geographic lens, from a client lens, from an industry sector lens, and when you start to get insights that are clustering in the middle of that Venn diagram, uh, that's when you're going to have powerful insight uh, and powerful coalitions that are going to help you drive strategic initiatives forward. Uh, I guess two related pieces of, of advice I'd share too. Um, one, uh, ruthlessly prioritize your time and resources. Uh, we all get dragged in, in a bunch of different directions at the firm. And, and this type of work is not work that you can do while you're multitasking on a conference call. Uh, you need the time and the space to think carefully and, and creatively about how data connects and, and what it means for your business going forward. And then ultimately, you know, my, my third recommendation, make your recommendations and requests client focused. Uh, earlier in my career, I, I tended to frame those as a, you know, best research practices uh, type request. And then that doesn't get uh, people's heart rate uh, going. If, if you're not a data scientist, you need to say, 
this is the type of work that we need to do to make sure that the law firm is well positioned for uh, what our clients are going to need down the road and also what our partners are going to need down the road as well. So, Andrew, for members of LVN, what are some key takeaways or calls to action that you would want to get them to do from reading your report and your analysis? And, you know, how can they use this type of information to help advise their own firms? Yeah, one thing I, I try and remind myself every day when I come into work is that we live in a golden age of data uh, where the amount of information that we have available to us and the tools that we have available to us to both collect and then parse data are, are really unprecedented. So from from where we were two, four, however many years ago, I, I think we have an exponentially greater number of resources. So be excited about that. Uh, we're going to be able to deliver value in, in ways that we haven't in the past. Relatedly, uh, there are a lot of really great thinkers in legal industry forums like LVN. Uh, I cited a, a few of, of some of, of our, our, our leading thought providers in, in the article. And so go out there, find that stuff. There are people who have done a lot of deep thinking for you and, and you can benefit from, from reading their analysis and uh, talking to them in, in forums like this. Uh, and then last but not least, um, you know, once you have that that baseline level of understanding of, of what's going on in the market, uh, think critically about what the information means and, and how it's connected to your business. That that last mile of, of thinking and, and applying is, is something that's going to be customized to your firm. Uh, it's it's the hardest work to do, but it's the most valuable work to do. So uh, when the MLAW data comes out, you're not just thinking, you know, did we go up two spots? Did we fall three spots? It's why did why do these lagging indicators show what they show uh, and, and how can we use that information to position ourselves for for future rankings? Good. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense. So now I'm going to I'm going to turn it on you a little bit and I'm going to ask you to give your elevator pitch. So if you had like 30 seconds to summarize your key message for you know law firm leaders and, and strategists, what, what would you say as you're going up that elevator? All right, I accept your your 30 second challenge. Uh, I would say number one, uh, be curious. Uh, there's a bunch of interesting data out there and I think we're at another interesting inflection point in the legal industry. Uh, and then be bold. Uh, there is such an advantage to being a first actor when things change. Uh, and if you wait uh, until doing something becomes the industry consensus, uh, there's a lot less value to doing it. So uh, do your homework. Uh, see what data is out there in the information and in the industry and how it applies to your business and then act decisively. Uh, it'll, it'll pay off in spades. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Andrew Slade from Perkins Cooey and of course, Legal Value Network member. Thank you very much for sh both sharing the report and thanks for coming on and uh, taking time to talk with me. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thanks, Greg.